Hey, it's you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, I have three questions for you today. Three questions. And let's try and reflect on these three questions. Let's try and answer these three questions if you can in the comments or just reflect on them. Okay, just before we do that, if you kindly just hit like as soon as you get here, just hit the like button. And if you can, leave a comment of support. That will be fantastic. That will be a great blessing. That will be amazing. Friend, thank you. This is day number 29. Can you believe it? Of 31, of the run 31K for July challenge. Well, we're trying to run at least one kilometer every single day for all the 31 days. Live streaming every run, mainly to help raise some funds to support the Great Ormond Street Hospital Charity. Friend, I want to say God bless you for tuning in and joining and supporting me, praying for me. I want to thank God for the strength, the grace to be able to do this every single day. I have three questions for you. Feeling a bit better today. Although I'm very enthusiastic about doing a longer run today. Yesterday's very long run. Yesterday we did another three plus kilometers on that I shattered a big part of my muscles. My friend, what I want us to do is simple. I want us to Think about these three questions. If you're here, just hit like and leave a comment of support. And if you haven't donated already, the link is right below the description. Somewhere in there, click on the link and help give hope to the over 600 children and young people who would Use the services of the Great Ormond Street Hospital Charity on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every single day. So every day, these children and young people rely on this help, this support from the hospital and the charity we're supporting today helps to make some of that research to find kind of treatment to find new treatments for all different kinds of childhood illnesses and to make life more meaningful for the over 600 children and young people who will benefit from this service and from your donation every single day. Friend, I want to ask you this question one more time. If you had the keys, if you physically held the keys to the Great Ormond Street Hospital and all you had to do every morning was just to open the door, the gates. There's a golf course here, really amazing golf course. 
if all you had to do was to open the gates for one of the 600 children and young people who would go to the Great Ormond Street Hospital for health care, for treatment, for care. What I'm asking you now is, what would you do? Would you open the door and let them in? Let me know in the comments below. Please, if you're here, hit the like button. Give us a message of support in the comments. And I'm gonna ask you the three questions in a moment. But friend, remember to click on the link. If you have donated already, God bless you. If you're still thinking of doing so, God bless you for thinking positively about this initiative and for considering donating. It's just one step away. You are just one step away from making that a reality. If you click on the link in the description, where I guide you and say donate here, click on that link and your donation will make a huge difference to the lives of so, so many children and young people. How can a complete stranger be this kind? That is the story we are sharing today. How can a complete stranger be this kind? Well, friend, my first question to you is, have you ever been kind to a stranger? Have you ever done something out of the ordinary? Have you ever had to go out of your way to help a stranger, a complete stranger, in any way, shape, or form? Friend, share that experience with us and do that now. Share that experience with us and do that now. Okay, my phone is playing up. Um, I'll see if I can get it now. Okay. So, <laughs> my phone is playing up now. Okay, I'll probably have to end this stream and come back again because my phone is messing about with me. Have you, have you ever had to? Oh, okay, no, no. Friend, we're back. And the question I was asking you is, oh, please remember to hit the like button and leave a comment of support. The question is, have you ever had to go out of your way to make way and do something for a complete stranger? Question number one. Have you ever had to do something for a complete stranger? If you have, give us a thumbs up in the comments below. Or if a stranger has had to go out of their way to do something for you. If you've ever been held by a complete stranger, how can a, a complete stranger be this kind? That's the story we're sharing today. So many, many years ago, again, just to remind you that this is day 
number 29, part two of the 29 of the run 31K for July challenge, where I'm running, I'm running at least one kilometer every single day for 31 days to help raise funds in support of the Great Ormond Street Charity. Friend. Friend. Has a complete stranger been kind to you before? And have you yourself had to go out of your way to do a favor to help somebody you would consider as a complete stranger? So many years ago, a man was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho and he fell among thieves a gang ambushed him they robbed him they injured him he was bruised he was wounded and he lied fighting for his life So as he lay there on the ground, fighting for his life. Friend, remember, we're doing this run to help raise funds to support the Great Ormond Street Hospital Charity. So friend, if you can, if you haven't donated already, kindly do so. Just click on the link in the description of this video and do that. So this stranger, guy he was fighting for his life he was bruised he was wounded and he didn't really know his fate he didn't know what would happen next this guy was lying down fighting for his life thankfully a stranger came along but not the kind of stranger you would expect this stranger who came along was a priest. You see, this priest saw the injuries. He saw the man laying down, lying down fighting for his life. He knew straight away what the man needed, what he could do for help. Let me show you this. All right, so come back here with me, guys. So what um, the priest did when he saw this man lying down and fighting for his life was that, what do you think he did? What do you think he did? Just leave that in the comments before I tell you. Friend, how can a complete stranger be this kind? How can a complete stranger be this kind? What do you think the priest did before I share that with you? And remember to click on the link in the description of the video. Oh, sorry, boss. And join the many people who are donating to support this amazing project, this amazing charity. What do you think the priest did? Okay, here's what the priest did. So the priest crossed over. Oh, the gate is closed. Okay, I have a gate to open here. Just go into the park. The priest crossed over to another side. He walked by. He crossed over to the other side. He didn't want to have to deal with a need with the trauma, he didn't want to have to deal with the trouble that this stranger lying down fighting for his life was going through. Friend, as I always say, with everything, if you invest a little bit of prayer, patience and perseverance, your God will come through for you. God bless you for standing by 
joining me for every single stream. And we're day 29, 29 days out of 31. Every single day, we've come out by the grace of God and we've run at least one kilometer. Sometimes our tracker fails us, but at least we know the distance we've covered. Yesterday we covered one of the longest distances ever and recorded one of the highest speeds ever. Friend, the priest walked by. He did not go out to help. I'm turning around here. Suddenly, another person came. He came and he saw the man lying fighting for his life. Friend, what would you do if you saw somebody lying down fighting for his life? What would you do? If you're here, just give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a message of support. You see, the second person who came by was somebody of high repute, somebody who was revered in society. He was a Levite. And he came by. He wouldn't so much as look. He also disappeared one way, went away without helping the poor, innocent, dying man. Friend, today, you and I might be strangers to the plight of the many, over 600 children who would go to the Great Ormond Street Hospital every single day needing help, needing care, needing attention, needing treatment. You and I will be complete strangers to their challenges. You and I might be complete strangers to their very need. And we may sometimes feel helpless to do something about the situation. But here's what happened in the story. A third man came along. And here's where I stop and we chat. When he came along, he wanted to do something. He knew he needed to do something. He bound up the wounds of this man who was lying, fighting for his life. He helped carry him onto the back of an animal that would ride them. He helped provide for him his immediate needs and brought him to a place where he would be safe. He would be looked after and he paid the bills. Friend, all I'm asking you to do now is to help me help the Great Ormond Street Hospital Charity. Pay the bills for research. Support the research. Pay the bills for finding kinder treatment for the many children and young people. Here's where I stop and we chat needing this help. Friend, all I'm asking you to do is to click on the link and support this amazing charity. Let's do it together because we can. Let's do it together because we have to. Let's do it together because we have what it takes to make change happen, to change the course of history for the over 600 children, young people needing this help tomorrow. Friend, God bless you. Uh, my battery's run out, but I'm grateful you came with me today. Friend, be like the third man who came by and helped. Help in any way you can, any small way you can. God bless you, and I'll see you around about the same time tomorrow. God bless you. So, I just checked my tracker, and I actually did 3.99 kilometers today. So, all I'm doing now is just running another... 100 meters just to cover four kilometers today friend god bless you for supporting this cause i'm doing this 100 meters and thank you for coming along this is one of the longest distances if not the longest on the tracker we've recorded four 
kilometers today and in record time as well god bless you for coming now this is the victory lap <laughs> 100 kilometers sorry 100 meters to make a total of 400 or four kilometers sorry we have made history today we have changed the course of history friend thank you so much for supporting me on this journey god bless you I'm so grateful for your prayers grateful to god for the grace and strength friend it is your company and your prayers take my heart off to you god bless you we've done four kilometers today god bless you god bless you god bless you oh, oh, oh. so glad i recorded this god bless you oh 100 meters and that's it see you again run about the same time tomorrow god bless you